Well, the boys and I, it's uh, the 28th at 12 o'clock lunchtime. And the boys and I went up there the other day. I think this is pretty much the tallest part of this open ridge and then it kind of tapers down in steps. But we found some flint. Went pretty deep too. Just nice good soil. I'm sure there's artifacts up there. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully be able to dig that one these days. But I just talked to the owners and uh, I'm gonna be working for them a little bit. Kind of a barter system. So they insist on paying me. Me and my brother Eisenberg 316 on YouTube is going to come down tomorrow and, and work and, and then go digging. So hopefully we will be able to come up with something tomorrow with him. The last time we was out he wasn't able to come up with anything but I think tomorrow is going to be different. So I'm going to dig for an hour, hour and a half and we'll get back with you. Hopefully I'll be able to get something good. Actually I'm going to get back with you here in just a second I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Alright, the other day when we found that point, my son found it falling out of my dirt clod. It snatched it up and took claims to it. This is where we first started and, and all the rock and stuff we've been throwing. All the bigger rock right here. I'm going to have to take this out because I need to dig this up right through here. But you wouldn't believe the heat treated flint, the big nodules, a lot of this stuff. Uh, coming out of the ground and uh, that's where we found all the artifacts too see there's another one this kind of had good shape to it I might take that but uh this is I was finding all kinds of good flint this is where we first started digging and we dug up this way and then out towards the tree. So today, I'm gonna take out this this grass here and work over towards, this would be the the east here. So we'll get back with you, I'll be able to find something. All right, well I dug out, whoa, falling in the hole. Dug out a, that right through there. I guess I shouldn't have turned it on until I get this this patch of grass dug out. But I found this uh, piece of Excello. It's a big one. Nice and shiny. I know you really can't see it. And black flint. Spall. Man, I dug up a bunch of spalls. Look at all them ones with the fresh dirt on them. All kinds of flint and material in there. That was it. I found a scraper and a, and a, just the end of a biface. I'm going to keep going. Alright, I'm continuing along this north side and I'm finally getting into stuff. Just found this. Right, this would have been like a north blade. Snyder preform. Hopewell. And it is fine too. Really nice. And I rolled back a piece of sod, and oh, these two were laying there. And this goes together perfectly with the rim. And this one, I don't know where that went, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Thought I was gonna have to get the wiggle pick out, but that was all there was. And then I, right after the pottery, I found this tip. So, all right. Well, hopefully we can get something. Alright guys, didn't find anything else um, except this tip since that last video you've seen. It's got some really good colors. I know the light isn't the best in here. This was the other tip. This was the Hopewell Preform. More than likely, that's what it is. A little bit of heat treating to it. That would have been really nice. Shame that wasn't there. And here's the pottery. 
It's uh, really well preserved, actually. It's flaked off a little bit there. But these two were laying. I flipped over that clod, and, and they were laying on top of one another. There they go together. So this would have been like that. It would have been a big old pot. Another piece I found with it. And then I finally found a big old spall of Excello. You got the outer core here and the outer core there. When you break it in, open, you get that shiny black flint. So I found a couple flakes of it too today. I'm really surprised I didn't find anything else uh, with all the rock and debris that was there. Uh, but I'm going back tomorrow. We'll get back with you all then.